Hello, Quincy. Another update on the COVID-19 crisis as it affects Quincy. We now have 772 confirmed cases in Quincy. We were up to 70 deaths. Uh, just 30 alone were from that rehabilitation center in Quincy Center uh, that you read about in the paper and we've talked a little bit about here. We've had more than t almost 300 now recovered from the virus, which is obviously great news. Total cases in Massachusetts is approaching 60,000. Some of you may have uh, seen the governor on TV today. He gave an update and as anticipated, he extended the stay home advisory. I think most folks are certainly at our level expecting it to go further. He did extend it to May 18th from the original May 4th uh, date that he talked about. So all of the rules that have applied over the last several weeks will, will apply again or still through May 18th. And that is the stay home advisory, especially those folks that have health issues uh, that are susceptible uh, to because of their conditions with the, with the health. So please be smart about it. I know everyone's getting antsy, everyone's getting itchy, you want to get out there. Uh, but, you know, we got to re remember that we're all could be carriers of this, so we don't want to affect other people. That's why the rules stay in place, the parks are closed, the schools are closed, non-essential businesses are closed. If you have any questions on any of this, you certainly can reach out to our office, 617-376-1990. Now, there's another issue I'd like to talk a little bit about because it keeps coming up periodically on social media, letters to the editor, and that is the uh, issue of Quincy Medical Center. There's folks that think we can just go up and flip a switch and put that back into a hospital. I just want to give you a little reminder of the background on that. I know people mean well, but when you don't know the facts, I think it, it puts some uh, ideas in people's heads that we're not caring. The reality is it was a municipal hospital until 1999, and it lost money for decades. The taxpayers of Quincy were not happy about the amount of money it was hemorrhaging each year. So in 1999, the city spun it off into a nonprofit. That nonprofit ran the, house, uh, the hospital for a number of years until that went bankrupt. And then we had a for-profit company called Stewart that bought it. It only lasted a few years because it was losing too much money. The reality is, folks, it wasn't making it on its own. And, you know, when you talk to people over the years, I was born at that hospital, as were my siblings. Uh, I had uncles and my dad. A number of people had uh, surgeries there or what have you. But over time, it really became a glorified nursing home. And that's, that, and that's not a criticism, it's just what happened. We lived so close to the best hospitals in the world, in Boston, people were choosing to go to Boston for their elective surgery. So uh, it was sold, uh, it's been stripped, the condition is not ready to be a hospital. We did talk to state and federal officials that making it available, along with Fox Rock, if they needed it. They chose to go with these other emergency hospitals set up by the National Guard. Uh, and that's the direction it's gone. Folks, there's not going to be a hospital day going forward. So uh, if you want to talk to me about it, I'd be happy to talk to you more in private. You want to call the office. Uh, but Quincy Medical Center is gone. It's not coming back. We do intend to keep an ED in our city. We have urgent care facilities. And with the new Quincy Center, there's going to be a lot more medical services for the people of Quincy. But as you knew Quincy Medical Center, it's no longer in existence and it's not coming back. Uh, having said that, uh, a couple of other reminders. If you have any questions about the uh, issue of health, Ruth Jones and her team are doing great work. 617-376-1288 is the hotline. Uh, we are raising some serious money uh, for the relief fund, and we're grateful for those that have responded. Colonial Federal Savings Bank's doing a good job for us. You can go to the QuincyReliefFund.com if you want to help. That money's going directly back into the community. There's no administrative fees. We're helping the food pantries. With, uh, with the additional need that they're experiencing with, with the change in the economy. So uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. If you have any questions, give us a call. Stay safe, and God bless.